One of the most important skills for anybody wanting to get better at league is learning how to ask good questions. Many times I've seen when someone's getting coached either by me or somebody else, they'll talk in primarily statements instead of in questions because they're very closed minded and they're not actually trying to learn, but they're pretending like they want to learn. Or some may ask questions, but the questions are very poor quality, such as how do I 1v9? What do I do when my teammates won't listen to my pings? How do I come back in a game where I'm 0-5 at 10 minutes? And a lot of time when they do ask those questions, they don't even provide a VOD or a clip of such a scenario for the coach to properly analyze for them. They'll just ask in an eventing manner. So let's talk about how you improve the quality of your questions. This is not something that is ELO specific. You can do it with your iron all the way up to challenger. It does not matter. Of course, depending on your ELO, the question that you ask will be a little bit different, but the idea is still the same. Let's say a coach, friend, whoever, somebody that you trust their opinion on things, recommends that you set up a dive with your teammate as the next wave is coming in to the enemy's turret. It's about to crash. They want you to use that to dive the enemy because the minions will be tanking the turret and it makes it a little bit easier to do. If you don't understand the value of waiting on the minions, that's what you should ask about. If you think that you would normally just go in under the turret without the minions, then that's important to understand or ask the coach what makes the minions being under turret valuable. That's your base level. Or maybe you understand that, but you don't know how to actually execute it once the minions have crashed such as who should tank the turret shots or which ability should you start with. Perhaps you have skill shots that you're concerned about missing and you wanna know how to properly change CC so you don't have to worry about that. A great thing to do is put your own thoughts into the question, such as should I wait for my teammate to tank the turret before I go in and then start with my Q, ultimate, whatever ability you think is correct, and then get the coach to explain what you were missing or where you were wrong in your thought process or if they agreed. Obviously, if they agreed on what you were thinking, then that's great. But if they don't agree, that's fine as well, as long as they properly explain to you what you need to understand. And if you don't understand it, continue to ask questions until you're on the same page. Now I want to talk about how it feels from the coach's perspective whenever a student doesn't ask good quality questions. A lot of students will come in way too focused on telling me their own perspective on the game, trying to justify every decision that they made, and not really coming into it with an open mind. With a dive example, I may say, I believe it's a good idea to dive here because of X reasons, and they'll respond with, but. They'll use the word but and then say whatever statement they believe. Not as a question. They'll say, but I don't have ultimate. But I don't have this. I don't have that. But I don't trust my teammate. It may seem subtle to people that aren't experienced with it, but there's a very big difference in mindset when you're wording it that way. Instead of asking something like, if I'm going to do this dive without ultimate, how should I do it? And then again, like before, you could throw in your hypothesis of what you think the coach is wanting and then see if you agree. But at least you can show that you're trying to put some thought into it and you're not just completely declining what the coach is saying simply because of one factor. If you have this kind of mentality where you respond with but or you need to justify every little thing that you do whenever someone makes a comment, you need to fix that. There is a big difference between digging deeper to truly understand something like continuing to ask the coach a bunch of questions until you get it versus being genuinely overly argumentative because you don't want to admit that you did something incorrectly. If all you're doing is just responding with a whole bunch of statements to every question, that's concerning. It should be a back and forth between the student and the coach where the coach is telling them what they think is better, the student is asking questions, the coach tells the student what they think they should do better, the student responds with a question, the coach answers that question, and they continue that cycle. One caveat to this is what I said at the beginning. This is assuming that you respect their opinion. If you are going on something like r slash League of Legends or Summoner School Discord, anything like that, you should be approaching it a little bit differently than someone you highly respect. If they're not showing any kind of information to indicate that they're significantly more knowledgeable than you. Notice with this whole video, I never said to just blindly follow what they say. At no point should you be ever doing that. You always want to look for why. This doesn't matter if you're going on summoner school and you're just talking to some random person in general chat, you have no clue what their elo is, versus a genuine challenger coach that has a lot of experience and you know that they're very knowledgeable in the game. Regardless of or what they're saying, you always want to go in trying to understand their line of thought and then asking them questions. If they can't properly continue to answer the questions, then they're probably ignorant on whatever they're talking about or they haven't really thought it through. For them, it may not be as worthwhile to continue to spend a whole lot of time going in a circle when clearly they don't know what they're talking about. It's always a great way to test if someone actually knows what they're talking about. If they can continue to answer your questions as you go deeper and deeper and they always have a proper explanation.